This is real talk. You will be offended. Or you might agree. So, turn this shit off before you get started. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I have a guest behind the behind the uh, behind the camera today. But anyways, um, if you're still here, still watching, hang on. This is going to twist your panties in a wad. Anyways, um, I decided to come on and do real talk. You know, I, I've been discussing a few things with, uh, you know, a few people, and I decided to, you know what, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. Anyways, um, so as a Slamology, it's a big car audio uh, thing that's going on there in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, good luck to y'all out there today and yesterday. And uh, anyways, we're going to start off with transgender bathroom policy. You heard me right. You know, there's been a, a bunch of people that are like complaining that um, they want to be women and they want to use the women's bathroom. Um... I think in Living Color said it right when the Chinese lady was like, he look like a man. Because he look like a man. So, you know, girly man. Maybe. I don't know. Just. So anyways, um, it brings us to... Man following woman into the restroom, woman pulling out handgun and shooting him and killing him in the bathroom. I, I don't, you know, it, it's one of those things. You know, and then you have on the uh, flip side of the coin, you have the Target CEO. The shareholders are kicking him off the board and he's got to look for a new job because he does not uphold the bathroom policy. Um, their stock has dropped 18%. They've lost a billion dollars. And he's offended millions of Americans for not upholding the transgender bathroom policy. Really? Really? Us, as a society, we're fucking pussies! That you heard me right. I know you did. I just don't understand what the hell is going on with this country. I I, I told you it's going to be real. It it is. It's got to be. Cuz for some reason we cannot speak our kids anymore. We cannot reprimand our kids anymore. Why? Because they'll call the freaking police and get us in trouble. When the fuck did that happen? I mean, I was in Walmart the other day and a little seven-year-old kid was like, Mom, I want this. And she's like, she's like, no, you're not going to have that. He starts throwing toys off the shelf. And throwing the biggest fit you have ever seen in the middle of Walmart and mama did not care zero fucks were given I, I, I don't understand I really I really don't understand but that's a completely different subject So 
so moving on it brings me to the Obamacare now the Obamacare health care policy just absolutely sucks dick uh, yes I'm just you know I, I don't understand you know they they force you to buy health care or they're gonna fine you on your taxes um, so it's it's one of these things it's like um, for instance an elderly lady that we know she gets put on disability because she had a stroke and she has to be have the Obamacare insurance to get her health care medical needs taken care of it is called the marketplace it's marketplace health care is the the people that do the Obamacare stuff for the elderly peoples um, so she gets put on this health care and um, by the way it is like over the freaking top taking all her Social Security money I mean six hundred dollars a month for freaking insurance yeah it sounds a little extreme to me but anyways um, she had the insurance for three months and because there was a problem with the with the mail service not getting communicating properly and she didn't get her citizenship paperwork in on time even though proof of citizenship is what they require to keep her insurance but because she couldn't get her birth certificate to them in time even though she's worked in this country lived in this country born in this country she could not prove she was an American citizen they could have googled her ass and found her but because she could not approve that she was an American citizen in the allotted time they canceled her insurance she can't even renew it they just canceled it completely so before her Medicare Medicaid insurance comes in in July 1st she's without insurance the whole month of June last night she just fell down she fell down had to be taken to the emergency room and guess what no insurance I, I don't I don't understand what what the hell is going on that that insurance you're denied because you cannot prove that you're an American citizen even though you worked in this country even though you were born in this country I, I just with her social security number does not say that she's an American citizen yes it does I don't I don't understand but thank you Obamacare so the next thing I want to touch on is the Confederate flag issue now I know this is a subject of great angst of great censorship but anyways some random freaking white boy wanted to wrap himself in a confederate flag and go into a black church and kill some folks and now all of a sudden the flag is bad hello the flag is history our history if it wasn't for that flag it would have been a different story this country would have probably turned out completely different now the flag means different meetings for different folks but when you say we're gonna take off Dukes of Hazard on TV you cannot watch that because it's offensive what if I want to watch Dukes of Hazard I should be able to have the right this is America 
to watch Dukes of Hazard. Am I right or am I wrong? You know, there's just different things, you know, that it's been going on for a while now. And it's been calmed down for the last three or four months or so. And now all of a sudden, this week, the National Museum in Washington wants to remove three stained glass panel glass from the cathedral because uh, it, it contains Confederate soldiers, Confederate flag. Really? Just now? Did somebody just now got offended by it. You know, how about when you walk into a restaurant, like say McDonald's, and you order a Big Mac, and they give you a McChicken? Oh, I am offended. I am mentally distraught. I am in such anguish and pain because you gave me the wrong damn sandwich. I am going to sue you. When the frick, the, when the hell did that happen? When, when do uh, as us as a society decided to be like, oh, we're the biggest pussies on the planet? And I'm not saying everybody is. I'm saying the keyboard commandos. The, and the news, the news is the biggest factors the biggest propaganda out there they only report to get fucking ratings that is that is the straight up truth the straight up truth real talk so comment below let me know your thoughts i already know somebody else's thoughts and he's going to comment right in a minute but i with the thumbs down i know he is okay anyways um, let me know your thoughts. These are mine. Some of mine. I didn't say all of them, but some of them. I will see you next time on Real Talk.